Good morning, my crafty friends. This is Lori Girl on the Ridge. It's, let's see, early t Thursday morning, and the temperature says 30 degrees out. So it's going to be a heat wave today. And we'll take it. <clears throat> so I just want to show you what I have been working on. I had searched last night on Dr um, Cheryl from our live the other night. Um, had made some comments about searching dressmakers tools and this and that. So I had some ideas. So I just put some ephemera stuff together that I wanted to share with you. These, these are just um, my pockets with pieces of lace and trim. And then I have, oh, where'd my stamps go? Oh, I got some stamp. Um, I had some label stamps, the deep red stamps. So I make them, and then and this is just with just paper, uh, cardstock, and then the trim. For I'm not sure if this will go in Lily or um, Katie. Well, they'll go in both, but which one? Then I made this this style pockets, and then <clears throat> things are really kicking in. So then I wanted to make some trim cards. I see they had trim stuff. So I made, in my own little lines, kind of, I numbered them and then just put trim in. And this is, if this was my dress shop in the 1800s, I would have the trim numbered and then the ladies could pick out what trim they wanted. This was just too fun. <laughs> and then I made another one. And this is nothing. I think one of these, this one's French lace. This one may be two. And actually, there was another one. <laughs> so it's just, they were just so fun to put in as, as tags. Or I, I don't know, I might glue them down for a pocket. And then this one will be, this I know will be Katie's. Because I have an idea of a story to go with that. So for the next couple of days, I'll be showing you ephemera before I start putting it in the book. And then we'll start going to the books that then uh oh then i just did an envelope with a tag so let it go in it then i did a trim card say maybe for hats or something and i numbered the trim that the ladies could pick up now these are just this is all um crafty me lace trim app or appliques that i just took a quick you know just a little snippet off of each so that would probably be hats. I might put a picture of a hat with this or something. Not sure on that one. Then I had to do the buttons. So I just did these so they could pick the buttons they wanted. I just a beat them. And the same thing with this. I'll decorate it up a little more. I was just too excited. So if you guys, again, if you need some ideas if somebody's doing a sewing journal i know we had button cards or stuff i was trying to think what they would do as a client came in of how they would show them <clears throat> and i really couldn't get a clear picture so this is what i would do in my shop and that oh and then oh then i did say a ribbon card and they could pick the color out if they wanted it for their bonnet <clears throat> so we have the ribbons, we have the button cards, we have the trim cards. And this is, a, again, a good way to get rid of your snippets if you're working into that kind of theme journal. And these I love. These I absolutely love. And then the favorite, and I didn't cover the cover. This is, this is going to be Lily's. <clears throat> now, again, I don't know. I see... When I research, I look on Pinterest and I look at pictures. If there's too much reading, it's like measuring for me. So I like the fun stuff and it's terrible, I know. <laughs> but, so if Lily comes in and she picks out her dresses, I would give her, in my mind, this is only make-believe, please. <laughs> I'd give her like a swatch book. Of maybe this is the day dress and the trim. This is part of another um, whatever dress. This could be her Sunday dress and some trim. And I could fill up some more. But this would be their individual swatch book of clothes I pretendly made. Because 
Don't get excited because there will not be any dresses. <laughs> I won't be making any clothes. <laughs> but that is so fun to put the things together of what you could envision a gown would look like. So, that, these are really fun. And you can make these any sizes. And i got to make a nice pretty cover on them. <clears throat> so, that would, this is, again, this is Lily's. And this is Lily's. Lily and Kate are both spoken for. And I got a couple more coming up. Actually, I got a Sage, Emily. Oh, there's one more. And, oh, and then I, oh, I came across these. I think these are BB crafts. So these will be their, um, I might as well decorate purses. I will bead these up somehow. These would be cute. So these will each go in Katie and uh, Lily, just different styles. One will be, well, they, I don't know. They may be, both be fancy. We shall see. So that is just some ideas, like I said, especially if you're doing sewing books. I'm sure, well, I know they did this. I've seen them, but I don't know if they were reproduction, somebody else's idea. What they really did, I don't know whether they numbered them or not. I mean, it would make sense if they had big books. I just don't know. But these I really like. These I'll be making more of. It's a good way to get rid of scraps. All right, guys. So that's all I had to share today because I got to leave early and hit the dollar store. Because <laughs> I did find these. Oh, my God. Look how pretty these are at the dollar store. Pink. And then I had the... This color, and then I had the white. So these are really pretty gems, and these could really, because they kind of look old. So that's what I was doing last night and this morning. <clears throat> I love these swatch books. You could do these with old quilts if they want to make. Of course, I don't think they went. Well, yeah, they went to the general store to get stuff, but maybe just one bolt. I don't know make it up with quilts so these are definitely my swatch books alrighty guys so that is it so have a nice beautiful happy positive day and um, I see you later bye